I'm here outside the gorgeous Guggenheim about to see the Futurism show that was graciously sponsored by Lavazza. We're going to chat with Lavazza North America CEO, Ennio Ranaboldo. What do you see as the connection between futurism and coffee? The most important connection is that part of our history is reflected uh, in the history of this great art movement. Uh, if we go back uh, in time, uh, in 1909, uh, the company Lavazza had been around already for almost one year, having been founded in 1895. So it was moving the first steps. And if we look at futurism as part of the broader modernization process of the country, I think that the history of this particular movement and the history of our own company sort of traveled in sync and over time for many of those crucial decades. This idea of moving past tradition, this idea of embracing uh, innovation, creativity, and risk as part of your endeavor, as part of what you're trying to accomplish, which was obviously the built into the DNA of many of these great artists, uh, do belong to Lavazza's own DNA. After all, Luigi Lavazza in 1895, at the very end of the 19th century, took a big risk entrepreneurially coming from the Italian farmland and single-handedly invented the very notion of coffee blend. Uh, and that was something that had no precedent and therefore was a big risk. So if we match the energy and the clarity and the, and the will to experiment, uh, uh, that is something that probably this company and this great are moving to share. When we first started talking with Richard Armstrong, the director of the Guggenheim and his staff, was how can we just go beyond this, this mere sponsorship idea? And so we thought, why don't we make coffee this great part of the, of the museum gore experience? How, do, how can we do that so that really all that's great about coffee can be enjoyed by, by everyone visiting the museum? So we came up with this design for this kiosk that really feels it belongs to this amazing, amazing space. Italian Futurism is Italy's avant-garde movement of the early 20th century, founded by a man named F.T. Marinetti, and it was all about Italy becoming modern, and they celebrated the machine, and speed, and dynamism, and simultaneity, and uh, technology. So it, it was about modernity. It's unique uh, in two ways, particularly. One is that uh, it's the first time that an exhibition outside of Italy has looked at all of Futurism, so not just the teens, which are the years we uh, may be familiar with, if we know the movement at all here, and uh, looks at the 20s and the 30s and the whole sticky issue of fascism and futurism. It's also the first exhibition that looks at futurism in all its different uh, mediums because futurism is a programmatic avant-garde that takes on uh, everything. It's a way of life. It's design, food, uh, t t touch, uh, music, and so forth. And again, if a project has been done here on futurism, it has focused on painting and sculpture, and maybe a little literature at most. So here you are enveloped by a total work of art. Private institutions such as the Guggenheim need support. We could not realize exhibitions without our institutional support from grants, from the National Endowment for the Arts, for example. But then, of course, the large support comes from the great generosity of corporations and Lavazza has made Futurism possible, and in fact will make at least one other show possible for us, the Alberto Burri uh, monograph next year. Uh, we need them or we could not bring this art to our public. The exhibit is on till September 1st, and uh, I would encourage people to come before August 20th if they can, because at that point the Benedetta postal murals will be getting packed up to be sent home. So rush be here before August 20th, although the exhibit does go through September 1st, and dedicate lots of time, because it's really an amazing, amazing exhibit. Mm -hmm.